Hi, this is Pastor Coy Sampson with the Mace Road Church. Welcome to Psalms 365.1, where we will be praying through the book of Psalms one day at a time, asking God to shape our lives to the truth of Scripture in Christ Jesus, devoting ourselves to the heart of God as revealed to the psalmist by Holy Spirit, and praying the Holy Scriptures back to our Father in Heaven. Hello, welcome to Psalm 365.1, and today is another mile marker day. Here we are, 200 days praying through the book of Psalms together, praying what God would reveal to us through the psalmist in their uh, fear, in their anger, in their sorrow, in their joy, in their praise. Everything the psalmist are praying through, God is showing us how also to pray to him, to sing songs to him, to entrust in him, and to communicate and have communion with God in the Psalms. And today in Psalms 89 verses 11 through 18, we're really seeing the psalmist here, Ethan, uh, the Ezraite show us a picture of God on his throne. And so there's a few words that in this short passage that we're reading through today that describe the throne of God. And I'm going to read these to you. Strength and might and righteousness and justice and mercy and truth and blessings and joy and rejoicing and glory and favor. These are the words that the psalmist are use, is using to describe the throne of God. It says in, in verse 11, the heavens are yours, the earth is yours also, the world in all its fullness. That means everything in all creation and everything in heaven and under heaven and on the earth belong to God. He is God who rules over it all. And I know there's some people who would say this person or that person, they're not my president. Even though they live in the United States, they'll say, that's not my president. Meaning, they are the president of the United States, but they don't claim them. And that's how it is with God. He is God, whether you claim him or no. He is the king of all the universe. Everything belongs to him. And we claim him and say, we belong to him. We have been purchased by the blood of the lamb. We belong to him. Yet everyone, even though they claim him or no, he is God. He is on a throne. And whether he's your God or not, he is still God. And the Bible says every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. It says in verse 12 that the north and the south, you have created them from Mount Tabor to Mount Hermon. They rejoice in your name or they shout praise to your name. So this gives us this picture from all the way from the north to the south and from Mount Tabor which is to the west, and the Mount Hermon, which is to the east, in Jerusalem, kind of, kind of like a slant like this. So, Mount Hermon and Mount Tabor, a little bit to the south, kind of a slant, but still from the east to the west, from north and the south, and from east and to the west. So we get this picture of the cross here in Psalm 89, verse 12. The north and the south, you've created them, and from Mount Tabor to Mount Hermon, rejoice or shout praise in your name. You have a mighty arm, strong is your hand, and high is your right hand. Verse 15, it says, Blessed are the people who know the joyful sound. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. Father God, we pray that as we pray through Psalm 89, that you would light our path before us. You, Lord Jesus, are the light of the world and all darkness flees from you and will not overtake you, but you have overcome darkness in the world. Light our path, be light before us, be light in our hearts, light up the dark places and shine before us in your strength and your might and your justice and your mercy, rejoicing in your blessings and your favor and your glory and honor. To you is all praise and dominion now and forever. God who reigns on the throne, we pray. Psalm 89, verse 11 through 18. The heavens are yours, the earth also is yours. The world in all its fullness, you have founded them. The north and the south, you have created them. Uh, Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand and high is your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Mercy and truth go before your face. Blessed are the people who know the joyful sound. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. In your name they rejoice all day long, and in your righteousness they are exalted.
for you are the glory of their strength. And in your favor, our horn is exalted, for our shield belongs to the Lord and our king to the Holy One of Israel. Yes, Holy One of Israel, Christ Jesus our Lord, the Messiah, the anointed, the Holy One. You are our King forever, our King Savior, our King Messiah, our King. We claim your Lordship. We love you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. Amen. I love you. Jesus loves you. Love one another. We'll see you again tomorrow. God bless.